Hello and welcome to the assembly video for the Dura ABS DI Automated Direct Inject System. We'll begin this video by assembling the frame. Place dashboard on frame. Line up holes and attach with quarter inch bolts and nuts included. Next, we'll be pushing the two plug caps included into the open tubes at the top of the frame. Place battery tray on frame and attach with quarter inch nuts included. Apply thread sealing tape or thread compound to the male threads of all pipe fittings. Tighten fittings until hand tight, then an additional half to three quarter turn. Next is the pump pre-assembly. Insert one inch straight hose barb into pump inlet. Insert one inch elbow hose barb into pump outlet. Hose barb should be pointing toward front of pump and upward at approximately a 45 degree angle. Repeat for pumps number two through number four. Place Easy Caddy frame slash pump onto DI frame. Secure with three snap pins, two at the motor end and one at the pump end. Repeat for pumps number two through number four. Next, we'll be taking a look at the meter pre-assembly. Thread a 1 inch 90 degree street elbow into meter port marked out. The outlet of the elbow should point toward the back of the meter and line up with the top edge of the mounting boss. For meters to be installed in position number 1 or number 2 on dashboard, thread a 4 inch nipple into street elbow. For meters to be installed in position number 3 or number 4 on dashboard, Thread a 6 inch nipple into street elbow. Thread a 1 inch 90 degree elbow hose barb into meter inlet port. The hose barb should line up with the top edge of the mounting boss on the back of the meter just as the outlet plumbing. Repeat for the rest of the meters. Here's how to install meters onto dashboard. Using the four Torx T20 screws provided for each meter, attach the meters to the dashboard. Start all four screws in each meter before tightening any screws in that meter. In positions number one and number two, a drill slash driver can be used for all four screws. In positions number three and number four, a drill slash driver can only be used for the top two screws. A small right angle driver must be used for the bottom two screws. The screws need only to be snug, do not over tighten them. Plug in the short extension cord on the inlet side of the meter and then connect the extension cord to power supply cord to pump. Now to install the three-way valves. Attach the three-way ball valve to the nipple on the outlet side of the meter. The inlet of the valve is identified by the hexagonal shape around the threads. The two outlets of the valve should point up and down after tightening. Install the cam lock adapter into the top outlet of the valve, then add the cam lock cap. Install a 1 inch straight hose barb into the bottom outlet of the valve. Repeat for the remaining meters. Next, we'll be building the manifold system kit. Attach a 1 inch male thread adapter to 2 inch manifold using gasket and clamp. Then add a 1 inch check valve. Make sure that the arrow on the valve points toward the 2 inch manifold part. Then add a 1 inch close nipple, then a 1 inch valve, then a 1 inch 45 degree street elbow, then a 1 inch straight hose barb, Repeat manifold assembly for pumps number two through number four. After constructing the manifold kit, we'll be taking a look on how to build the gauge kit. Attach a quarter inch female thread adapter to the two inch manifold part using gasket and clamp. Install pressure gauge provided into the quarter inch female port. Assemble ejection manifolds together and add gauge kit. Attach a 2 inch system manifolds together using gasket and clamp. Repeat for remaining system manifolds. 
Attach a gauge kit to the end of two inch system manifolds using gasket and clamp. Lastly, we'll be installing hoses and power feed harnesses. Cut to length hoses from meter inlet to pump outlet. Install with hose clamps. Cut to length hose from meter outlet to manifold inlet. Install with hose clamps. Repeat for remainder of systems. Cut to length hoses from pump inlets to source tanks. Install with hose clamps. Connect power supply wiring harness to cable from outlet side of meter and attach clips to battery or other 12 volt power sources. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are successfully able to assemble your Dura ABS-DI automated direct inject system. Have a wonderful day.